Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. I'm Kevin Shea, joined alongside, as always, by Bill Gibbons, the head coach of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball team. And uh, one and two records since we last spoke. Huge win over Bucknell. Tough loss to Navy by two points and a tough loss uh, on the road at Colgate. We'll get into the specifics of those games in a little bit, but looking at the league right now, the top three teams in the league, Bucknell, Navy, and American, you've beaten two of the top three, and both teams, when you beat them, had only one loss at the time, right. Navy and American. I mean, um, Bucknell and American. You lose to Navy twice by a total combined of three points. What does it tell you about your team, and what kind of confidence, I guess, does it give the team, or drive does it give the team? Yeah, well, I, I think the confidence factor, Kev, uh, and good to be with you again, uh, uh, is that we can beat anyone in the league. I mean, right. it, 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 it proves that. Um, but the, the other side of it is that we can also lose to anyone in, uh, in the league. There is not that discrepancy, and it, there's no one that can, I think, just show up right. and, 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 and beat someone. You're going to have to come ready to play. It's league play. Everyone knows each other. It's the intensity of the league. And as I always said, dating back to the, the Ralph Willard days, uh, it's going to come down to three days, uh, three games in March. Uh, or as right. the men saw last year, four games in March. Who's ever playing the best uh, for the tournament is, uh, but every game is big for seeding, Kev. You know, right. but will it give us confidence, a young team? Yes. You know, and hopefully it teaches us that you've got to, do it for four quarters, and we got to play like we did on Saturday in front of a great crowd here mm -hmm. on national TV, on American Sports Network, to have a big win. It's got to give us confidence in some way. Yeah, and the other thing that I was going to say, and you just touched on it a little bit, but, um, you know, in boxing they always say styles make fights, but you look mm -hmm. at the league and you say, okay, you, you beat Bucknell and you lose to Navy by two points in a game that you had a couple cracks at it at the end of the game to tie it or to send it in right. overtime or to win it. And then you look at the Colgate game, and Colgate whacks you up there, right. and you say to yourself, what, what happened? Right. Like, why do you have the, the disparity there, or, or what is it? Is it just the way that teams match, match up against up, one yeah. another? I, I think it's that. I think they match up better against some teams, another style of play, like you yep. said. And, um, you know, Col Colgate plays that matchup zone, and, and you have to hit outside shots to beat the matchup zone. They neutralize Lauren inside, and... Uh, um, you know, uh, Bucknell uh, played a straight man-to-man. -man. So it's a, a lot of things with that about the matchup, what they're doing defensively, what are you doing defensively against them. Right. So I think always through the years, it's the, it's the matchups. And I think anyone in any league uh, will tell you. I, I, I was watching a game the other night, I think it was Villanova, who's really good, and, and they got blown out by one of the uh, bottom teams in the Big East. And uh, he said, we just don't match up well with them. Just for some reason, we right. don't match up in their style of play hurts our style of play, and then they go out the next day and, or the next game and beat DePaul, the top team. So I think on every level you have that matchup yeah, match uh, discrepancy, right? You've talked about this before after, after some games that uh, slow starts have hurt you. I believe it mm. was the, the Navy game you said yeah. we lost it in the first half. What, what is it? Is it a coaching staff? Do you talk about it? Do you talk about it as a team? What can you do to yeah. kind of kickstart a team that maybe you look at a game and you say, okay, we came out so slow in the first quarter. If we didn't, you know, we win this game. Like right. some of these games, Navy, you outscore them three out of the four quarters. You know? right. In other games, it's like that too. You've outscored them three out of the four, four quarters. Yeah, I guess if you had the answer to that, I'd be on Wall Street or something. If you, <laughs> could, if you could bottle that. I mean, who knows? You're dealing with 17 to... 20 year old kids, you know, and you, and, and you try to, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a fire up, uh, fire and brimstone guy before, uh, before the game. And I, you know, I try to do that every game, use something different to fire right. them up. And maybe sometimes it clicks or maybe it's just a, the biorhythms or whatever, but you're exactly right. But some games we've come out great right. like that. And other games, we've gotten off to slow starts. Uh, American being one, but we came back. But the Lafayette the game. The Bucknell game, you came out strong. Came out strong. Really Lafayette strong. game was 24 to 7, Kevin, the first quarter. Right. We came out and, 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 I mean, they made a run, but we had enough yeah, of a you cushion. Them right Lehigh off the game here. Right. Nine nothing. Uh, she had to call a timeout, and, and, and we end up winning by right. 10. So that start, I always say the first three or four minutes of the game and the first three or four minutes of the second half right. are key stretches yeah. uh, in, in the game. And now maybe even you could argue, Kev, with the four quarters, which 
are different for us. Yeah. You could say the start of each quarter is a key time to get right. you going. So right, to jump start. Jump we'll start we'll right. get into that a little bit more, too, even the differences of four quarters versus two halves right after mm -hmm. this time out. Plenty more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn coming your way right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn, experience it. Worcester, a city defined by a heritage of innovation, fortitude, and caring. Where the community is diverse and full of promise. Unibank is proud to introduce Invest Worcester. A savings account that reinvests deposits into home ownership, small business, and community development. While earning a premium rate of interest, help invest in Worcester's future. Unibank. Unibank. Together, we can build a better Worcester. What you said, wine and spirits, where you'll shop in comfort, one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What you said staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatyousaidliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12 West Boylston, across from the manor. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Chow Bella Restaurant, Pizza and Catering Service. Located at 402 Grove Street in Worcester. The best caterer for four years running. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. O'Connor's Restaurant and Bar, 1160 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Visit us at the West Boylston DQ Chill and Grill on Route 12, right off of I-190 Exit 4. Visit us online at dqcakes.com. Welcome to the Compass Tavern. At the Compass, we offer a delicious menu featuring the best American style in New England dishes made from scratch in our kitchen. Whether it's lunch, dinner, or special celebrations, the Compass Tavern is the place to go. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. Well, Coach, you and I were just talking about the, the difference between four quarters and two halves. And, uh, right. you know, what are, you, what are your thoughts on it? What are the challenges that it, that it yeah. uh, brings up. And people out there might think, well, it's still 20 minutes, you know, right. what's the big deal? But for a coach, it, it, it is different coaching in a game that you're going to have 10 minutes and then, like the other day on the American Sports Network game, a three-minute break right. in between. So it's longer than a regular timeout. Right. Um, and it does, and now you're end the game situations. Do you go at the end of the quarter, do you go two for one? You know, do you hold for a last shot, you right. know, uh, you know, and not give them momentum at the end? So it is it is totally different. I'm not I don't know what the fans think of it, but when you really think of it, men's college basketball is now the only one that goes two halves because high schools go four quarters. Right. The pros go four quarters. WNBA goes four quarters and women's right. college. So it's uh, I, I don't know if a men eventually do it, but. It's fine. It is what it is, but it does make it a different game, and you have to manage the end of those quarters and then start, right. like we said, jump start the start of the quarters. So uh, I don't know what the fans uh, think. And then, of course, the fouls reset at the start. Right. So now you could have five fouls at the in the third quarter, 
where in the old days, two more fouls, you're shooting one and one. Right. Now two more fouls, you're still not shooting. Actually, four more fouls, you're still not shooting. Right. So the importance of that. And I thought that was a big reason we won the Bucknell game. And my dad always talks about that is playing good defense without fouling and outscoring teams from the foul line. We were 12 for 12, and I think they were 9 for 17 or whatever, which is a big, big, yeah. big stat. But we only committed 14 fouls in the game. So that's huge rather than right. committing in the 20s. Uh, right. And I think for young coaches out there to teach your, your, your teams to play good defense without fouling is a big, big thing. Yeah, and, and specifically with that Bucknell game, Infinity Thomas, where he injured, didn't play the game right. before, comes off the bench, wasn't starting in the game, has a career high, 26 points for you. Um, just such a huge effort from one of your leaders. Yeah, and uh, Alicia Caswell, our uh, athletic trainer, just a great job. Uh, Infinity had to work, but Alicia knew how to get her back. And I did not think, I said maybe we'll get 10 or 15 minutes out of her. And Alicia said, Coach, she looks good in warm ups. She's ready to go. Let's reevaluate at halftime. Right. And she gets 26. She had 14 in the first half and 13 minutes. There was no reevaluated. No reevaluate. If go. Alicia had said uh, no, for, I would have. Uh, <laughs> Hit her or something. I would have said uh, shuddy. Uh, lock her in the locker room. She, that's right. Stay, out. stay out, Alicia. But uh, no, I gave her a big hug after the game because she did a great job. That's all part of being a team. But Infinity certainly stepped yeah. up. And I thought Trisha Byrne. Uh, if you look at her line, kept seven assists, no turnovers, 38 right. minutes, um, seven rebounds. Um, and uh, she had another stat, three, three big threes, and yeah. just control the tempo of the game you know, calm the freshman down and, and, and just played. But if Trisha, that's like Brady playing well, you know, that's our quarterback. So right. if she's playing well, we're playing well. And she's always talking about defense. Anytime you hear her in your, yes. in your post game press conferences, she's always talking about defense in games that you've lost. She said, we didn't defend well. Right. That's why we lost. We didn't defend well. Right. You know, and, and speaking of adjustments, you have a couple injuries with swords and has an hour mm. up front. Um, obviously you guys have to make adjustments and make them on the fly, whether it's right. personnel changes, whether it's different roles for different players. But uh, no, I imagine to some extent you say, well, that's that's college basketball, right. but you don't plan for it. You don't plan for it. And, and especially with someone, A.B. was starting to play well. And Megan, you know, uh, different freshmen get it at different times. You know, Lauren, fortunately, has kind of gutted at the start and yeah. Smitty gutted at the start. Nicole, who we'll meet uh, later in the show, uh, is starting to really get it. Of you know, and that it meaning the college game and what right. it takes. Megan Swords was just starting to get it, uh, you know, was a key uh, factor in our American game and then has three rebounds in the first minute and unfortunately goes down at Colgate. So, but it's part of the game, like you say, now other kids have to step up. We might have to play four guards yeah. a little more, but Maddie Ganser as a senior leader uh, knows she has to step up now with our uh, lack of depth in the front court, and I'm confident these kids will step up. But uh, Saturday was a big boost in the in the arm of confidence of all our kids. Oh God, yeah. Big Seven time. games remaining in the in the wow, regular yeah. season before before the Patriot League tournament starts in March. What are you looking for from your team over these next seven games? And in light of these two injuries, are you still now kind of? finding out stuff and, and reevaluating and evaluating, okay, what combinations work or what style of play is going to work. For yeah, us. yeah. I think out of necessity now, we're pretty set with our rotation of who we have to play off the bench, depending maybe on the, the game. But at least sometimes with less numbers, it's, it's a little easier to figure out your rotation. And right. I keep talking to my son Billy about that and wondering about, you know, who we're going to, where we're going to finish and who. And he said, Dad, don't, don't worry about that. Worry about how you're playing and, and what you're doing. And, and, you know, keep playing like you did Saturday. And it doesn't matter who you play because, again, what we talked about, you, you know you can beat anyone in the league. Right. So don't be all worried about we Just be worried about the process of getting so you're playing your best basketball in March. And right. that's what we're shooting for. And it's Good advice. Out of the mouths of babes sometimes. Right, exactly. But Billy, uh, the gives roles some good are advice. reversed. Exactly. The, the exactly. teacher has become the student, and <laughs> exactly. the student has become the teacher. Right. All right, we're going to take another time out and be back with plenty more right after this. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. 
And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn, experience it. Worcester, a city defined by a heritage of innovation, fortitude, and caring. Where the community is diverse and full of promise. Unibank is proud to introduce Invest Worcester. A savings account that reinvests deposits into home ownership, small business, and community development. While earning a premium rate of interest, help invest in Worcester's future. Unibank. Unibank. Together, we can build a better Worcester. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. The Bagel Inn, 785 Main Street, Route 122A in Holden. Open daily at 5.30 a.m. Specializing in wicked awesome bone-in and boneless wings, the Wicked Wing Company, 321 West Boylston Street in Worcester, is your home for the best wings in Worcester. Check out our menu online at wickedwingco.com. The Fix Burger Bar, handmade burgers, elixirs, and shakes for whatever ails you. Chick-fil-A Westboro proudly supports the Crusaders women's basketball program. We would love the opportunity to serve you at our restaurant at 286 Turnpike Road, Westboro. Here's to a great season. Mark Bernier is your Worcester area Edward Jones financial advisor. Whether you're planning for retirement, college, or protecting your financial future, give Mark a call at 508-755-1213. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by freshman guard Nicole Morris. And, uh, Nicole, you come from, from New Jersey and from a, a high school that's a, that's a power, a perennial power in, in girls' basketball. Mm -hmm. How much did that help in preparing you for college basketball? It definitely helped a lot in putting me in pressure situations in games, being in big games with big crowds. Having to do well, all every big play is important, and that really helps to translate into college basketball. And you have a twin sister who's at a different college than mm -hmm. you. She goes to college in Pennsylvania. Um, you guys got to play together in high school. Yeah. What was it? What was it like? Was there competition? Were you great teammates? Was it a little bit like, hey, I got ten points, you got eight? Um, there was definitely competition at some t points, but really, we we just loved playing together. It was just a lot of fun to train with her and then translate that into the court and just win together. I'm sure it helps having the twin though, just in terms of um, being able to lean on each other and, and mm. talk about college life and what it's like and, and the challenges of you know, being a first year student. Yeah, I tell her a lot of my issues and she gives me advice and I give her advice and we definitely lean on each other to make it through first semester, freshman year, it's hard, but we definitely helped each other a lot. Does it help, do you think it helps playing basketball and, and when you stepped on campus, you know, you instantly had 12 other people that you knew and, and you know, spent all this time with? Yeah, it definitely helped. I instantly had 12 friends with me, getting me through the difficulties of classes and time management and studying. And I could lean on them for anything because they knew I, what exactly I was going through. and. It just helps so much. Do you have to ask the older kids early on what Coach Gibbons is saying? Because he's got that great Worcester accent that there's got to be times when you're like, I have no idea what he's saying. And you, and you wait and then you ask an older kid, what was he talking about? There, there was. There were some sayings he had which I didn't understand or some jokes where I was like, is he, is he kidding? Should I laugh now? Should I be serious? <laughs> but they're fine. It, he's good. I, I like him. And topper <laughs> offers. You're getting to know about topper top offers. offers. That's one of the first things I think that freshmen get to know about is topper offers and how good they are. He doesn't always follow through, but <laughs> he will eventually. So 
It's kind of the carrot at the end of the the end of the rainbow thing there. That if we win, we're going to stop and get some ice cream. If oh, we yeah. don't, then we just the bus just keeps going straight through. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If we win, we will get topper offers. If we <laughs> lose, we will not. So that's definitely motivation. But okay, thanks Nicole for joining us, and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. That's freshman guard Nicole Morris. We're back with more right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn, experience it. Worcester, a city defined by a heritage of innovation, fortitude, and caring. Where the community is diverse and full of promise. Unibank is proud to introduce Invest Worcester. A savings account that reinvests deposits into home ownership, small business, and community development. While earning a premium rate of interest, help invest in Worcester's future. Unibank. Unibank. Together, we can build a better Worcester. What you said, wine and spirits, where you'll shop in comfort, one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. What you said staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit whatyousaidliquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12 West Boylston, across from the manor. Before or after the Crusaders hit the court, come on down to Bentley Pub in Auburn, Route 12 near the junction of the Mass Pike. Visit us online at BentleyPub.com. It all starts with a touch. The smallest thing that sets her heart in motion. The rhythm of love, the only jewelry powered by her heartbeat. New Tech Design is a proud supporter of Holy Cross Women's Basketball. Custom printing, embroidery, promotional items, and more. Visit us online at newtechdesigngroup.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by freshman guard forward Madison Springfield. And, uh, Maddie, we'll talk about first-year high school, too, growing up in New Hampshire, uh, two-time Gatorade Player of the Year in New Hampshire. What, how much fun was it playing in school? You got to play for your dad. So was it fun? Was it pressure? What Was it a little of both? Uh, it was definitely fun. It was He was always hard on me, but he pushed me to be the best I could be, and I couldn't have asked more of him but it was playing in New Hampshire was awesome Lo local all my relatives went to my high school so it was kind of like a family thing my sister played there my brother played there my aunt my uncle all of them so it was definitely fun and all my family could come support me whenever so it was awesome playing in New Hampshire and with your dad being a coach too I'm sure that helps you know when you're a freshman no matter what age you are here but in college I'm sure you can pick up the phone and say you know I'm, I'm struggling with this or did you see the game what did you mm -hmm. think and he gives you some pointers yeah I know he's always my biggest critique but he's always there for me and I he obviously understands me and understands my game so he's I always go to him for advice and he's always there to help me and your brother plays uh, baseball in college do you guys talk at all too just about the rigors of, of playing sports in college and trying to balance everything yeah for sure he yeah he plays baseball at Keene State and Honestly, we don't keep in touch that much because we're both so busy. But during when we see each other for vacations and stuff, we'll reca recap on how it's going, how's the season's going, how's everything, how you think you're playing, stuff like that. But he's always there for advice. If I ever need to text him, have him questions, he's always there because he's been through it. He understands what it's like to balance everything. What was how big of a, a of a, in your decision making? How big was it that Holy Cross is kind of close to home that family and friends can come mm -hmm. down and see you? Yeah, play? that was probably top three one of the biggest reasons why um, it's an hour away a little over an hour away so all my family can come most home games all my family's here for supporting me so that was a big thing for me I'm kind of a homebody so it's good to see them up in the crowd and and all my other relatives can make it I actually have an uncle from Mass who 
makes it up to a lot of games, so it's good. Now you have six freshmen on the team now. Do you guys have kind of a, a special bond even within the team, the six of you, since you you know all come together and come in together and you're all playing well and contributing for the team? Mm -hmm. No, all of us are really close. We all really play well together. I think that's the biggest thing. We all have different things to add to the team and it's just amazing to see all of us get along so well. And that's usually rare with six new players coming to a team, but we all get along, we all push each other to be that the best we can be and it's it's really a pleasure to play with five other girls you guys are coming off probably your biggest win of the year american was the biggest win now the biggest win the bucknell game mm -hmm. um what do you see from this team how good can this team be honestly there's no limits to how good this team can be like we've we all of all i've had a lot of games where we've come up really short and we've had some really good big statement games like you said american the bucknell but when it comes to patriot league time i think we're really capable of of making some lot of noise. All right, thanks for joining thank us, you. Maddie. And best of luck down the stretch here and then into the playoffs. Yeah, thank you. That's freshman guard forward Maddie Springfield. We're back with more right after this. Welcome to Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We are the largest Honda dealer in central Massachusetts. Choose from over 500 new and pre-owned Hondas always in stock. And inside, you'll find all the support you'll need to make your ownership experience the best it can be. That's why we have the highest return of repeat buyers here at Lundgren Honda. Listen, if we don't have it here, chances are you won't find it anywhere. Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Experience it. City Trophy, conveniently located at 32 Auburn Street in Auburn. us at the commercial fruit and garden outlet personalized fruit and gift baskets for the holidays or any occasion 1050 Southbridge Street on the Worcester Auburn line beautiful to look at delicious to eat after the game come on down to flip-flops on Main Street in Holden good food good friends good times flip-flops on Main Street in Holden Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by The Boynton, 117 Highland Street in Worcester. Visit us online at BoyntonRestaurant.com. Quinn's Irish Pub on West Boylston Street in Worcester. From appetizers, lunch, dinner, or our weekly specials, our pub selections are a must on your night out. The Holy Cross Basketball Show is presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. Welcome back, everyone. And, uh, Coach, recently you guys took on the Mercy Center, as you mm -hmm. do each and every year. The Mercy Center remains undefeated against the Holy Cross women's basketball team. Yeah. Another big win for the Mercy Center. But we've talked about this before each and every year, um, what it means to you to, to, to go down, to bring your team down, and what, the, what you get out of it, what the kids get out of it as well. Yeah, just a special day. Um, you know, been doing it, I can't believe it, for 26 years now. But uh, God's special children, and, the, you know, we walk in, and it's like we're the Celtics, and uh, hugging and high-fiving. And uh, so it just puts things in perspective for our girls that, you know, you think you got it tough or whatever, or losses, or a fight with your roommate or whatever, or a squabble. And uh, it puts things in perspective. And as I said in the free press, the, the joy that, uh, that they give us, you know, really... Uh, is so much more than, than the joy we give them. I mean, I, I hope we give them a little joy, but just I feel good coming out of that. And I told the team, we've got to do that more. We're going to have a couple more springtime trips. And then to see him, I give him tickets and to see him in the game. And Jay Carlo referees the game, and he comes in, in his referee outfit to our games. And Mike is my assistant coach for the Mercy Center game and sits behind the bench. But just to see that joy, it's, it's something we're, we're supposed to be teaching these girls to be women for others, and I think that's really important. Uh, and it's something we'll continue to do. Looking ahead at the schedule, you got some big games coming up on the road uh, at Lehigh, at Army, and then home here against American a week from this Saturday. They're all big now. I talked to our ha hockey coach, David Barad. I know you got an upcoming game with them, and uh, we both said they're all big now for seeding. And, and as you say, Kip, playing your best basketball, 
uh, as we hit the stretch run here. But two big road games and then senior day for Maddie Ganza. Yep. National Girls and Women's Sport Day. That's on the 18th, the 105 start. We hope we have a lot of girls out there and, and we can get some more wins. All right, good luck in this uh, upcoming schedule, Coach. Thanks. Thanks, Kev. Good to be with you. For Bill Gibbons, I'm Kevin Shea. Thanks for watching the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show presented by Lundgren Honda of Auburn. We'll see you at the Heart Center real soon.